We are looking at spring. It is certainly in the air. We've got the warm temperatures and don't forget we do spring forward as we head into this weekend. So let's bring in meteorologist Maria Ruiz now talking about just how much longer these days are getting and how much more we're going to be warming up. You know what? Even with our time changing, the amount of sunlight we're getting is going to go up no matter what. So today we're actually getting 11 hours, 39 minutes of daylight. But come April 1st, the end of the month, we're getting 12 hours, 32 minutes. This is a huge jump in how much sun we're going to see. And then by May 1st, 13 hours, 29 minutes. It peaks June 21st. We're going to see 14 hours, 19 minutes worth of daylight. So we're definitely looking forward to that. I know a lot of us are, are really sensitive to what how much daylight we see in any given day. So today, by the way, the normal temperature is 66. This is the average that's taken over the last 30 years on this day, but by the end of the month, normal temperatures climb to 73 degrees. This is a month of changes. This is the month where we transition from the cold winter months into the warm months that are ahead. Rainfall so far this year, by the way, 0.82 inches. That is over what's considered normal. The monthly average rainfall is 3.3. So hopefully we keep adding to that because we all know come summertime. Yes, we get very dry. Now March 12th is the average last freeze. I know a lot of you are maybe wanting to go ahead and start planting, but I'm going to tell you to go ahead and hold off and wait until after that. Let's look at the next uh, several months, shall we? It is our spring outlook for March, April and May. It is looking like above normal with our temperatures for North Texas and even more so for Southwest Texas. Texas. Average temperature, by the way, about 65 when you take the averages. And as far as our rainfall goes, it looks like we're trending near normal here as we head into our active spring months. So definitely want to make sure to pay attention to the forecast. And even this week, it looks unsettled. Greg's got that forecast for rain coming up in just a bit, Kara. Okay, thanks for the update, Marielle. So